Hello everyone, NeilRox87 here. I got a little special video I'd like to share with you guys today. What you're looking at right here is a small collection I've had for many years now of mini NFL football helmets. I first bought these, I first started collecting these I should say, mm, I was probably about 11 10 or 11 years old they were sold by division by their divisions like the NFC Central the NFC West stuff like that I first found these at uh, a local grocery store of mine and uh, and that's why I first bought these they they sold them for five teams, because at, at the time there were five teams in each division, sold them for about, I think they were eight ninety nine plus tax, so a little more than $9 for a set. And I just like to show you guys what I all have here. First, I'm starting with the old uh, NFC Central division. First up is my team, the Green Bay Packers. Go Pack Go! Got the Detroit Lions, the Minnesota Vikings, the Chicago Bears, and the team that was formerly in our division, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Moving on here to the NFC East, we have the uh, New York Giants. Shout out to Mr. Horgan on that one. Got the Dallas Cowboys, the Washington Redskins. The Philadelphia Eagles, shout out to J. Van Diesel on that one. And last but not least, the Arizona Cardinals. And moving on to the NFC West, we have the New Orleans Saints, San Francisco 49ers, the St. Louis Rams, the Atlanta Falcons, and last but not least, the Carolina Panthers. Now moving on, I'm going to switch gears here and move over to the AFC West, starting with the Seattle Seahawks, the Kansas City Chiefs, the San Diego Chargers, the Oakland Raiders, and last but not least, the Denver Broncos. Moving over to the AFC East, we have... The Miami Dolphins, shout out to Apizzle90, fins up. Then we have the New England Patriots, the New York Jets, the Buffalo Bills, and last but not least, the Indianapolis Colts. Now like I said, these, uh, these were sold by division, and there's a reason why I say the AFC Central for last year. First up we have the Cincinnati Bengals, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Tennessee Titans, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Cleveland Browns, and the Baltimore Ravens. As I said, I saved this for last because this division was the hardest to find for me when I was collecting these. I th it was well over a year after I started after I got the the first five divisions until I got the AFC Central here and here we are years later and I think I may have figured out why first of all this uh, this division saw a lot of changes in that time uh I think first of all, starting with the fact that the Tennessee Titans here used to be the Houston Oilers. I remember them very well. Uh, I've actually seen sets of these on eBay that have the the Houston Oilers. And some of them I've seen have marketed them as the Tennessee Oilers, which is true because they did spend, I think, one or two seasons in Tennessee as the Oilers. And one of the other factors in this division being hard to find is the Cleveland Browns becoming the Baltimore Ravens. So 
So as you as you can see, that's why there's why I believe that this was so hard for me to find. I remember when I was in fifth grade, I brought what uh, helmets I had for. Uh, we had like every student participated in this. It was kind of like a, a student of the week kind of thing, where we. We brought in things we liked and collections and stuff that we had, and I brought my NFL helmets. But I only had 25 of the 30 teams at the time. And that would have been in 1998, and I didn't get this set, the AFC Central here, until 1999, which is when the Cleveland Browns were reinstated into the league. And this was sold as a set. I got it, I actually got it from St. Nick in 1999. So that's that. Uh, as you may have noticed in the background there, I do have other helmets that have, that are, that serve as either replacements for, for team logos and colors. Or, in this one's case, a new helmet. Uh, well, first of all, I'll show you that these helmets here are actually dated underneath. Copyright 1997. That's when I first, first got these, I do believe. Like I said, this was my first set that I had purchased. At the time, with me only having just this one, we used to, I had it stored in my mom's, uh, I guess you could call it a curio cabinet, I'm not really sure. We called it, here in my house, we called it the duck cabinet, because we had uh, duck decanters in there. My mom really liked them. But anyway, as you can see here, like this one, the Jets helmet... They were still using that helmet when I first started collecting these. However, it was right around that time that they changed over to that helmet back there. And actually, after I had purchased the, the AFC East set, I saw sets of that with the new helmet in it. I was kind of upset about that, but you know, what do you do? I, as you can see, I eventually did get one. Let's see, highlighting these helmets back here, we have the new version of the New York Giants, the newer version of the Seattle Seahawks from when they changed and went to the NFC. As I just mentioned, the New York Jets, their new version. Even though I purchased this many years later, it was probably around 2002, I think that's when I got both of these and probably the St. Louis Rams helmet here. The Jets helmet even says copyright 1997 under it. It was around that time I, I was at this uh, local shop in in town that had was that carried a lot of sports memorabilia and sporting goods. And I bought these, and at the time it wasn't released, but I did make a pre-order on the Houston Texans helmet, right here. As you can see, there's no date on this one, because this was made many years later. And it was cool how I got this. My mom and dad had a day off of work, and they were running around, and they knew that my helmet had come in, so they went and picked it up. And I don't want to say they played a joke on me, but what they did was, when they came home, they put it in the in the the cabinet where we keep our keep food and stuff. Because they knew that when I got home from school that day that I'd go and grab a snack or something. And then that, that's where I found it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, these over here I bought. These were many years later. As you can see, this, this one is the San Diego Chargers helmet. Is um, of a different design. You got these, I don't, I don't know, 
what do you really call them? These holes in it, and it has a. It's it's a different style. Riddell, who makes these, went to a different style somewhere along that, in between there. This one was, I think I bought this around 2006 or so, and a couple years later I noticed that my my Atlanta Falcons helmet here was outdated. And I, I bought a new one when I was in on vacation in a city called Appleton in Wisconsin here. And I bought a new one. As you can see, there's more red accents on the new one. This, uh, this is a good example of underneath it, how, how design has changed and stuff, so... Uh, now I don't have. There's a, a couple helmets I would really love to have in this style of this this these old helmets. Like I would love to have an old AFC Central, the old uh, Houston Oilers. And actually, when I looked up the these online, I found out that Baltimore had a different logo uh, when they first started in 1996. So if I could find one of them, that would be nice. And then here, I didn't even know to know this. Hold on. Yeah, that does say. Yeah, that's. This one's dated 1999. Probably because the old logo. I, I actually read online that that the original logo they had there was there was uh, some lawsuit over that actually. So that was interesting. And the guy, I guess, who claimed the rights to the this, the logo and all that, uh, was awarded some money for for that. But when I heard, he was only given a whole three dollars for for damages. <laughs> so that's 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 kind of funny, really. So so that's my my little collection I've had have here. Now, before I go, I actually have something else I want to show you. Here we go. Ah, uh, I bought, this is one of the sets I bought. This is a new set that that's out now. For a while now, I've been talking, I I had been thinking about getting a new set of these, and I had seen these online and, and stuff, and I was almost thinking about buying them. But uh, I was—I actually had the opportunity to go to my first Packers game uh, earlier this year. It was on December 8th when we played the Atlanta Falcons, as you can see right there. Uh, so when I was at the Packers Pro Shop, I decided to buy these there. And these were actually sold, uh, as you can see here, by their conference, the National Football Conference. And don't worry, folks, I I also bought the AFC as well. As you can see, one one that one that I noticed that that had changed probably a couple years ago was the Buffalo Bills helmet. Uh, being in Wisconsin, we don't see a lot of Buffalo Bills games, so I usually only see it in, like, highlight packages during, like, halftime or something of games. And this one, I actually noticed this year had changed. Uh, the Dolphins helmet, their logo kind of changed from, from that one. I actually noticed that because I got to see a Dolphins game this year when they played on Thursday Night Football. Uh, it's right at the end of October. I don't remember who they played, but I got to see that. See, so yeah, the the oh, this is another one that I noticed had changed. Jacksonville just went to this style. It's kind of a two-tone color helmet. They it kind of fades from black to gold. So that's pretty cool. And actually, I think that's a new logo, too. Or at least, oh, at least some um, better graphics, anyway. I also noticed a lot many years ago that the face mask on Indianapolis changed. 
because my old helmet has blue. So yeah, I, I took the opportunity to buy these when I was at the Packers Pro Shop. I, I will tell you that that I had the best time going to to that Packers game. It was it was very cold that day too, and I will I will not lie about that. And here's the price tag for these: twenty five ninety five. However. However, when I was at the Packers Pro Shop, uh, I got my I actually still have my receipt here. They were actually uh, the entire store was on sale. Everything was twenty percent off, so I only paid I only paid uh, twenty dollars and seventy six cents. And also, as you can see, I bought a I bought a winter hat too because I really needed one. So thank you guys for watching, this is NeilRox87, and I'll see you next time.